friend of mine who had actually been cured by Swami. I used to stutter, as they say, stammer. If Swami can cure physical illness of the body, then the mind is also in the body. Sairam and welcome Mr. Nasir Abdullah. You are not new to Puttaparthi, but first time to the studios of Sri Sathya Sai Media Center. So a hearty welcome to you. And you are someone who has had a very long association with Swami going back yes. to the 70s, four decades and more. Tell us how all this began. I had heard about Sai Baba, Sathya Sai Baba pronounce. And three of my friends were going to be at the Whitefield summer course which is happening there in uh, June, the whole of June, I guess. And they had already been there earlier and one of them was a friend of mine who had actually been cured by Swami. He was on his way out. He was going to be leaving the body uh, in a few weeks or months. Uh, he had a kidney problem and so obviously. Uh, but I didn't know very much about him. And uh, so my friends, he included, asked me if I would like to visit with them. They're also going. So I said, oh, that's interesting. And because I'd heard about the cures that Swami had uh, uh, done for many, many a person, I just heard about a few. And then I thought to myself, I don't have any of those problems, but I did have a problem with my speech. I used to stutter, as they say, stammer. And it was quite... Uh, irritating and quite uh, restricting and made me quite withdrawn and, you know, made it difficult for me to function in school. And, uh, but uh, it was sort of okay. But then I had this thought in my head, I was only 17, year, 17 years old then, yes, 18, uh, that I thought if Swami can cure physical illness of the body, then the mind is also in the body. So he can cure that too. That's the thought I had in my head, circulate. And I was not very, very bright or very clever, but I did this reasoning in my head and I said, it might be worthwhile. He may be able to deal with it. So I thought I'll go. So I asked my mother and we didn't have much money. She said, no, I can't spare the money, you know, all that. And I said, okay, fine. Then somehow, by some sort of a miracle or something, my mother must have felt bad or something. She, after a day or two, she said, okay, if you want to go, go. So I think she gave me about 400 rupees for the entire trip. In those days, it was manageable, but still not enough. So I left with, uh, with my friend and I arrived there on the 2nd of June, 1974. And of course, at that time, I didn't know where I was going, what was going, but the good part was I was going with a friend of mine who was in my school and in my class and my neighbor. So it was all kind of okay. And there were two other friends already reached there. So, and then I saw Swami come in on a Sunday morning, the bhajans were on, and you know, I saw a gentleman with an orange robe with a beautiful halo of hair. And I saw a lady, uh, an Indian lady and a foreign lady on the side. They seemed to, their face seemed to illuminate with a huge smile. And I was saying, okay, I haven't seen that kind of a smile for a long time when Swami came. So I didn't know anything at that time and I didn't really react. I didn't feel anything. Uh, so, but that was it. So for me, it was not easy and it was not not really difficult. I am a Muslim, but I'm not that much of a, a practicing Muslim because, uh, you know, and I'm open to, you know, other systems of the universe. And my father had already been to Sri Ramanasaram two years earlier. So I had some idea about this idea of the spiritual life, the spiritual sort of a pursuit. I just had a mild idea and I wasn't really interested. So I came to Swami basically for one thing, to cure me of my speech impediment, my speech, you know, the stuckness. And I was, I was going to go home. It's like a visit to a doctor, you know, you say, hey, I have a throat ache or fever. You take the medicine and go. That's the plain intention I came for. I didn't come for moksha, enlightenment, uh, God knowledge, uh, shanti, tranquility, nothing. <laughs> a 
And what did you get? 